Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be going over the best settings you can have on your Alienware AW2724DM monitor for that optimal experience, that optimal performance, guys. So first things first, of course, you want to go ahead and access the OSD menu, which is the on-screen display menu. To do this, you need to use the joystick, which you'll find at the back of the monitor. Okay, and then what you're going to do is first thing is you need to select a preset mode. So you want to choose gaming if you want high performance in games, or you can choose comfort view if you want to reduce eye strain or standard, you know, if you're doing some general use. And then, of course, you want to go ahead and adjust your brightness and contrast. So brightness, you want to set it to about 85 if you have, you know, a well lit room or lower if you are in a dark space, you can do something like 65. And contrast, you want to adjust it to 80. This will give you a balanced picture. And then, of course, you want to enable HDR mode, okay? So in the display settings, you want to go ahead and toggle HDR mode on. If you're going to be using some HDR-supported content, for example, games, and if your operating system actually uh, allows it, right? And then what you need to do also is calibrate your color. So choose custom color, and you want to set red to 96, green to 97, and blue to 95. And you want to also set gamma to 2.2. This will give you some accurate colors. And then what you need to also do is you want to go to your game settings and enable response time. Then you want to set this to fast. This will give you, you know, minimal blur when you are gaming. And then, of course, you also need to uh, turn on adaptive sync. So activate G-Sync if you are using NVIDIA or FreeSync Premium Pro. If you are using AMD, do this under the game settings. This will give you smoother gameplay. And of course, you want to go ahead and set your refresh rate. So in your PC's display settings, you want to ensure that the refresh rate is set to 240 hertz for that ultra smooth motion. And of course, guys, you want to go ahead and customize the alien FX lighting to match your room's ambience, or you can turn it off for you know a distraction free setup and of course at the end you want to go ahead and save all these settings and then exit the menu and then you can enjoy your finely tuned display so hope this video was helpful to you and if you found any value guys consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find your solution and i'll see you in the next one